Retired NFL star and author Burgess Owen speaking out against the Democrat Party at a hearing on slavery reparations. Here's more on his testimony from Capitol Hill. Thank you so much for, for this opportunity. Um, I'm going to take a different tack from beginning. Uh, we are at this point, this is not about black and white, uh, rich or poor, blue collar, white collar. We're fighting for the heart and soul of our nation. We have a very, very special country that started with the Judeo-Christian values that allowed every single generation to become better than the last. And that has not ended, that has not stopped until now. We're telling our kids a little bit something different, that they don't have the opportunities that we had. I'm going to talk about some ideologies. And when I talk about them, I'm not talking about people. People change. I used to be a Democrat until I did my history and found out the, 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 the misery that that party brought to my race. So when I talk about these ideologies, ideologies don't change, people do. We are fighting for the heart and soul of our nation against socialism, Marxism, and the evil that it has brought to us in the stealing of our history. Karl Marx said it best, the uh, Arthur, the father of socialism, an atheist, anti-Semite, and a blatant racist, yet we teach his philosophy in our school systems today. He said it, the first battleground is rewriting of, of our history. You steal our history, you steal our pride in our past, our appreciation for our present, and our vision for our future, and every single urban city in our country is now experiencing that loss. Real quick history, because <clears throat> these are things that we're not taught. I'm blessed to be the great-great-grandfather of Silas Burgess. Came here in the belly of a slave ship. Sold in Charleston, South Carolina with his mother to the Burgess Plantation. An evil, evil man that drove my, my great-great-great-grandmother either to leaving her family, her kids, or uh, committing suicide. I don't know, she disappeared. But South at eight of age, eight, age of eight, was blessed to be surrounded by men who believed in freedom. Even though they were shackled, they escaped. They went the southern route of the Underground Railroad, facilitated by white and Mexican-Americans. And he's made his way out south to Texas. He ended up being a successful entrepreneur, owned 102 acres of land, paid off in two years. Started the first black church, the first black elementary school. Pillar of his community, 18 kids, Christian, Republican. His first son was Alpha Omega. Proud American. An example of what happens when any race, any culture is given hope, opportunity, and freedom. It didn't end there, by the way. The history of our black country, of our black Americans, has been stolen from us for decades, almost over a century. Booker T. Washington, 1882, began Tuskegee University. By 1905, it was producing more self-made black millionaires than Harvard, Yale, and Princeton combined. The 40s, 50s, and 60s, it was a black, country, a black community that led our country in the growth of the middle class, led our country in terms of the men committed to marriage, over 70 percent, now it's 30 percent, led our country in terms of the but a commitment to business ownership, 40%, now it's 3.8%. Men matriculated from college. We now have more, a higher percentage of men in, in, in incarcerated in college. It is, by the way, my degree was biology. And that, I learned a long time ago that slavery is not a gene in the DNA helix. It's our actions, it's our attitude, it's our belief. I do not believe in reparation. Because what reparation does, it points to a certain race, a certain color, and it, and it points them as evil, and points the other race, my race, as one that is not only becomes racist, but, the, the, but also beggars. I do believe in restitution. Let's point to the party that was, that was part of slavery, KKK, Jim Crow, that has killed over 40% of our black babies, 20 million of them. State of California, 75% of our black boys cannot pass standard reading and writing tests, a democratic state. So yes, let's pay rest, 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 restoration. Let's pay rest, restitution. How about a democratic party pay for all the misery brought to my race? And uh, those, after, after we learn our history, decide to uh, stay there, they, they should pay also, they're complicit. And every white American, 
Republican or Democrat, that feels guilty because of your white skin, you should need to pony up also. That way we can get past this reparation and recognize that this country has given us greatness. Look at this panel. It doesn't matter how we think. The fact is, well, it doesn't matter our color. We have become successful in this country like no other because of this great opportunity to live the American dream. Let's not steal that from our kids by telling them they can't do it. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.